I'm here with Bill Shepard, uh, a director of the Blu-ray Disc Association, and his day job is Chief Digital Media Officer uh, of the Client Software Group at Sun Microsystems. Wanted to chat a bit about the brewing and intensifying battle between Blu-ray and HD DVD to be the next great disc format after the DVD. So Bill, uh, in the past week or two, the big news has been about price. HD DVD standalone players have come down in price to uh, below 200 bucks, and and it looks like right now some folks are running specials even below 100 bucks. I think I saw Walmart out today was doing that. Does that really matter? Does that get the Blu-ray folks concerned at all, and why or why not? Well, I think that price is really about the only strategy that the HD DVD camp has available to them to try to counter the much greater vendor support in the Blu-ray camp. Um, so, you know, they don't have as many studios or as many uh, uh, titles, especially if you compare by box office, that are uh, coming forth. And certainly in terms of vendors, you've really only got Toshiba in terms of major brand name vendors. Um, so putting that up against Sony, Panasonic, Pioneer, Philips, Samsung, um, really is a big disparity and when the consumer sees all these different brands supporting Blu-ray and only one brand supporting HD DVD, I think you really need that very aggressive price cutting in order to uh, try to overcome you know, what would appear to be a, a very big disparity in terms of which format the industry is supporting. So, so naturally, if uh, millions of consumers were to take the bait and buy the low-cost players, um, you know, that would be concerning to us, but we think that holding to reasonable you know, price drops, uh, we see that currently Blu-ray players retail started about 4.99 or 3.99 for the PS3. Street prices um, on some of the Blu-ray players are around 3.99 or a bit lower, uh, and I expect those will probably drop further as we see some of the holiday sales. Um, well, how far can we expect to see them drop? Well, certainly the Black Friday sorts of deals where you see exceptional discounting to try and bring in consumers. Um, certainly having virtually all of the major uh, CE or TV, HDTV vendors also have Blu-ray players in the market. I think ongoing promotions where you buy a Sharp uh, Aquos LCD and you get a, a highly discounted Sharp Blu-ray player or the same for Panasonic or Pioneer, all of those are possibilities that I think uh, are reasonably likely to happen in the next few months. Uh, so certainly the 99 or, or under $100 price you referenced at Walmart, and I haven't seen any details on that, uh, and even the 198 199 pricing um, is, you know, that's on a, an older player from Toshiba and has generally been characterized as a closeout. Uh, it, it really doesn't seem to necessarily reflect the standard pricing outside of the kind of exceptional circumstances we're in right now. Okay, though the, the price on the A35 from Toshiba is coming down quite a bit too, uh, and it doesn't seem unreasonable that it could get pretty cheap. But, but tell me more about the thinking behind keeping the Blu-ray disc player prices um, near where they are right now. How, how far, are, are you saying that uh, the Blu-ray Disc Association members could bring down the player prices just as much as HD DVD and are making a conscious decision not to? And say, say a bit more about that because it seems like, sure. yeah. So, so there's very little difference in the cost of manufacturing an HD DVD player versus a Blu-ray player. Um, on the Blu-ray side, you have a slightly more expensive optical pickup because the uh, the data is packed tighter, and so you need some uh, slightly more sophisticated electronics to support that. On the HD DVD side, they have been using higher-end processors to support the HDI uh, interactive layer as compared to the processors that have been found in most of the Blu-ray players. So, you know, with the estimates that we've seen, both uh, ones that have been done internally by some of the CE companies, as well as some of those published by companies like iSupply, don't show that there is a significant cost difference between the two formats. Uh, so if it 
were seen in the best interest of a Blu-ray CE vector to really drop their pricing that far, uh, I think they could do so. But the problem with that is that a race to the bottom, price-wise, really doesn't benefit anyone. And it certainly makes it much less attractive for other vendors to come into the market because there's simply no profit left for them. You know, we see with DVD, it took many years before prices reached the levels they're at today, and now it's very difficult for the first-tier CE vendors to compete against $30 and $40 DVD players that are coming largely from China. And if there isn't that ability to earn a reasonable return on the R&D and the other investments it takes to build those products, then they'll simply move on to other markets. And so maintaining this period where you can have kind of a measured drop, 40 to 50 percent a year typically, is the trend that we've seen with new products like VCRs and CD players and DVD players. Um, that allows the companies to recover their investment, continue to focus on how to improve the format and, and add features and add quality. And I think with the other format, the fact that 18 months after release, we still really only see one major vendor in the marketplace uh, is, uh, is, is a difficult model to support long term. So, but isn't the cat out of the bag? I mean, now that we see one player sub $200, are they going to get more expensive again realistically? Or is, is the consumer just going to latch on to that this holiday season? It, it seems pretty clear that sub $200 is going to be a maintained price point, at least for this holiday season. Do you really see it going back up or consumers saying, okay, well, I'm willing to, to hang around for $250 and $300 players for the next 12 months? It's certainly more difficult to take the same model that has been selling consistently for, say, $200 and raise the price on that. Um, again, outside of things like an exceptional Black Friday sort of sort of offer, that's, that's clearly a very limited time deal. Uh, so with the 198, 199 player from Toshiba, uh, that is an older model. So once that sells out, um, I, you know, it, certainly I think that they, the price could go up slightly on the newer model, but I guess it's difficult once you set those expectations for the consumer to, to you know, put the cat back in the bag. Now, one of the things that, you know, is that we're both competing against is the DVD player, and you can get a low-end DVD player for $30 or $40 and an up-converting DVD player for certainly under $100. Uh, and for many consumers, that may be the competition. Uh, so one of the areas that the, the Blu-ray camp has really been focusing on is continuing to really increase the quality level of the titles and add content that is clearly very different from what you see on DVD and make sure there's a clear differentiation between that up-converting DVD mixture and audio versus the true 1080p uh, with 5.1 or 7.1 lossless surround sound. 